after a really good performance against Tyson Fury. What did you make of that performance? Surprised? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Do you I expect to knock out Ngannou? The great champion of the world, right? You are the boxing guy, if you like, in this, in this dynamic. I don't know. I don't know. Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua just sat down face to face to promote their upcoming boxing match on March 8th. And these are some of the best moments. Let's take a look. You called it a gimmick fight then. Mm. Is, is it still that? I mean, this is now you taking on Francis Ngannou as opposed to Tyson Fury when he did. Is it still a gimmick fight? No, it's the biggest challenge of my life. Anthony Joshua was offered the Francis Ngannou fight before Tyson Fury but Anthony Joshua turned it down and called it a gimmick fight. They spoke about this fight before and I said, no, it's a gimmick fight. It's not something that I think is right. Mm -hmm. Crossing over when I'm still chasing uh, the heavyweight title. glory. But after Ngano impressive performance versus Tyson Fury, that certainly is not the case anymore. I think he's thinking here. Yeah. I think he's thinking, you cheeky fucking prick. You think you're gonna call me out? You don't call me out, I call you out. I'm the man. No one predicted Francis Ngano would nearly beat Tyson Fury, especially not boxing enthusiasts or boxers themselves. They didn't give him a chance in hell. So I really don't believe that Anthony Joshua thought Francis Ngannou was actually going to give Tyson Fury a tough fight. He's even on record of saying Francis Ngannou is a gimmick fight. And now he's saying, well, he isn't surprised that Francis Ngannou nearly beat him. Again, we saw that first fight against Tyson Fury. It was his first fight, anything could happen. No one knew what was going to happen. He's, he's ranked with the WBC now. He's always wanted Where to be a he? boxer. He's good. UFC champion. You know what it is? Um... But not a boxer but there's a lot of stand-up game. And in, in, in his industry, people have takedown, submission, stand-up, better at kicking. So when he fights, he's fighting people that have aspects that are good in every category. So he might fight someone who's better than him in stand-up. So I've watched people that he boxes that are good at stand-up and how he's dealt with people at their stand-up game. He knows how to box. So it's good to see Francis Ngannou get the respect that he deserves because once again, not that long ago, people were laughing at Francis Ngannou. Oh, yeah. <laughs> neither do we. You never. Yeah. You never. Who's boxing training footage. I mean, literally making fun of him and Gano really proved the doubters wrong. Even Anthony Joshua himself. After a really good performance against Tyson Fury, what did you make of that performance? Surprised? No, not at all. Francis Ngannou and Anthony Joshua are both making really good points here. Tyson showed to be seems showed showed that uh, he's very resilient. I saw him come back from uh, a knockdown that you wouldn't believe that somebody would come down. So I think he's put probably one of the most resistant person out there, and that's not a disrespect to AJ. I don't believe that AJ would take what Tyson. Tyson you don't think AJ is resilient? Obviously, we know Tyson Fury has been dropped several times throughout his career. You don't think AJ has a chin? As much as Tyson. Well, who hasn't knocked Tyson down? Mm. So many people have knocked Tyson down. And each time he keeps getting back up. This is after his success. Over. I think it's over. Is he going to get up? Can he get up? Can he get up? He does. Now, is he really that tough or does he have a weak chin? I think that's the argument that Anthony Joshua was trying to make when he said, well, everyone has dropped Tyson Fury. You were built for knockouts. You did it in the UFC for so many years. You've yeah. been doing it in boxing for the yeah. last 10 years. Yeah. You knock people out. That's what you both do. Is that what we're expecting here? That's what, that's what, yeah, that's what they want. We'll see. What do you want? Because we'll see. Me, I'm, I'm looking for. I don't think Anthony Joshua is going into this fight looking for a knockout. I think Anthony Joshua is a boxer and he's going to box, especially when you're fighting a guy like Francis Ngannou, who is extremely dangerous, who can knock you out in one punch. Just Goodness like that, gracious. Francis Ngannou has knocked out Cain Velasquez! Wow. People think... underestimate me a lot. Mm. Uh, people underestimate me. I mean, ever since I pushed him to the press conference, he's been lost his marbles, and I've been so bad for years. Like, I could read people, I could read in their eyes plenty of times, you know? So, like I said before, I've never been an AJ believer. You know, you can feed a guy bums, and as soon as he step up, soon later, you know, it's gonna add up. So, like I said, his mindset is no stronger than it was before, and I thought he was soft yeah. before. AJ, you're the former unified heavyweight champion of the world, right? You are the boxing guy, if you like, in this, in this dynamic. People are gonna be expecting you to get the job done here. That's what they're expecting, right? Because of, again, your 2023 was fantastic. Is it a knockout or bust for you? The knockout, it just comes naturally. But Joshua is going to box. 
I can guarantee you that we're going to see a lot of movement from Anthony Joshua circling around the ring over and over, staying behind his jab and keeping his distance away from Francis Ngannou. Do you expect to knock out Ngannou? I don't know. I don't know. It's not even the strength that I carry, it's the brain. I'll process what I need to process, I'll do what I need to do. So I think this clip right here confirms my theory. Joshua knows the game plan in the back of his head. He knows what his coaches have been telling him for the past few weeks. And if you can figure out how to hurt Fury, you should be able to figure out how to hurt AJ. Arguably. But AJ is very fucking capable of hurting you in the process, so that's what makes this exciting. In the AJ fight, I still have to do that. If uh, the fight will be good for me from the moment that I figure out what fit for me. But uh, definitely what worked for Fury is definitely not the same thing that's going to work for AJ. So I still have to find that out. Now that I have those information, I have collected those data from Fury, it's a different, um, I think about it differently. So now the AJ style is the more complicated one for me because I haven't figured it out in the fight. I want to kind of step back and let you guys tell each other. I'm going to start with you as the challenger here to the former Unified Heavyweight Champion. Tell AJ how this fight plays out. Before they give their answers, guys, if you are still watching, if you have made it all the way to the end of this video, please be sure to leave your predictions for this fight in the comments section down below. Are you going with Engano? Or are you going with Joshua? Also make sure you're subscribed right here. I will be covering the build-up to the fight as well as the fight. Now let's get back into it. Mm. Well, uh, when I look at this fight, you know, I'm not... I'm not a fool. I know, I know that AJ is a great is great at his game. I respect that. If I wasn't in the fight, I would have been betting on AJ. But as I'm in the fight, I'm betting on me, and I would take everything that I have in my stomach to come after AJ and do everything that's possible to take him down. And if needed to knock him out, that's how I'm going to come after him. You know, like. Just as a sport man, but still want to like mm. knock him out. Like, ah, I'm gonna do that, you know, for my own legacy, for my own record, for for this. So that's how I view I view the fight. Tell Ngannou how this fight plays out. Good fight. Stars make fights. He's a good switcher. I do the basics very well. Very well. I can count a punch. I can move forward. I can move back. I'll do whatever it takes. I will be victorious. I have my own legacy, my own chapter, my own destiny that's destined by God. Everything is designed for me to come and be victorious. I will say throughout this entire face-off, there was a lot of mutual respect from both fighters. And obviously, I mean, how can you not be friendly with one another? I think Anthony Joshua is making like 40 or $50 million and Ngano is making like $20 million at the end of the day. You guys are kind of business partners and you're making boatloads of money. And I mean, they don't really have any backstory or issues. Maybe they've chirped at each other a little bit in the past before, but obviously nothing serious to actually hate one another, obviously. We all have the trash talking and heated moments, but there's nothing wrong with two guys who just genuinely have respect for one another. So there you guys. Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. March 8th, it is going down once again. Please be sure to leave your predictions in the comment section down below. Please be sure to leave a like on the video, and please be sure subscribe to the channel for more heavyweight boxing info.